Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Last time we built this beautiful assembly with a brushless motor, encoder and planetary gearbox. And today we're gonna do something similar but a little bit different. So, we wanna take this brushless motor, we wanna connect uh, this encoder to this brushless motor. This is AS5047P encoder, magnetic encoder. And so when we will connect it, we will have an assembly which we could use instead of a standard NEMA 17 stepper motor. And afterwards we're gonna connect it to this planetary gearbox. So let's get started. So here there is all the pieces which we would need today. So the motor, the planetary gearbox, encoder, the 3D printed parts and some bolts and nuts. So the basic idea is that the motor goes here. This is gonna hold the magnet. So you can see that the magnet is over here. This is a magnet. It comes uh, with this encoder. So the magnet is just push fit inside. Afterwards, this piece goes on the back of the motor and this piece comes here. And here we're gonna attach the encoder. So let's assemble this. So I'm going to start with this small piece to hold the magnet. And so first of all, we need to push fit the magnet inside. So you see, and just we need to push it. So I'm gonna push it with this uh, screwdriver with a plastic part. So the magnet is in, you see the part of this magnet through this hole. This is how it looks from other side. And now this one goes on the back of the motor. And I need to put a three screws over here. And this is how this motor looks with the magnet attached at the back. So now we need to install this motor in this plastic part. But before doing this, we need to put all the embedded nuts. And there is four nuts here. One, two, three, and four. And now the motor goes like this. Okay, it works. These bolts go here. And now we need to install this back plate with the encoder. So first of all, we need to install the encoder on this plate. So this is encoder. And to install it, I'm gonna use these uh, small tiny M2 screws. I already put here four nuts. And so now this encoder is goes here and the connector part should be here. And so this is the encoder installed. The next step is this encoder going on the back. But before fixing it here, we need to put embedded nuts in these slots here and here. So there is four of them. Okay, and now encoder is going on top like this. And we have this M3 12mm long uh, screws which are going over here. So the main part is assembled. The encoder, magnet over there, the brushless motor. And we even have these screws to fix this NEMA 17-like motor wherever we want. And today we want to fix it to this planetary gearbox. Now let's take care of this planetary gearbox. So first of all, I'm gonna take off uh, the first gear. And the same as in the last video, I want to take out this rubber ceiling ring over there because it creates a lot of friction. This is how it looks inside. The first gear goes on the shaft. Uh, we're gonna secure the first gear with this uh, screw. And now the final part of the assembly. We put these screws into the planetary gearbox. So now we need to tighten the screws. And this is the finished assembly. 
This reducer has the reduction ratio of 40 and basically we need to connect the encoder and we can test it. And just for the comparison, this is today assembly and this is last week assembly. So you see that last week maybe it's a little bit more compact because there is no this part. But this one is easier to assemble because uh, you don't need to machine uh, a metal uh, piece like for this one because here I use a metal plate which is not difficult to machine by the way. So here I used the AMT102 encoder and here I used the magnetic encoder AS5047P. I reprinted this part. So this is a holder for the encoder. So this is the old version and this is a new version. The new version uh, has a little bit higher opening for the airflow and also it's a little bit easier to print and also it's a little bit stronger and to replace it I'm gonna to use the teleportation method and so this is old piece and the new piece is installed I think it looks even better I've soldered the wire to the encoder in the same way as I did this in the open torque video and here and here you can see how the both ends of this wire should be soldered and this end goes to the O drive controller. And by the way, the black uh, wire is the ground and the red wire is the 3.3 .3 volts. And now everything is ready to test it. So we need to take out our O drive controller. Again, I'm gonna fix uh, this actuator in this uh, bracket. I've also put uh, these uh, two zip ties uh, to release the strands from the encoder cable. This is my O-Drive controller powered by 24 volts power supply. My test setup is very similar to the test setup from my previous video. So this actuator is connected to the O-Drive. So the motor is connected to the O-Drive and also the encoder connected to the O-Drive. And O-Drive is connected via USB to the Raspberry Pi. And thus I can control the O-Drive using the Raspberry Pi with the O-Drive tool. The Raspberry Pi is on, the O drive is on, so now I can launch the O drive tool. The next I need to tell to the O drive the proper number of the CPR for this encoder. And I think it's 4000. And now I'm ready to do the full calibration sequence. This is a good sign. It rotates in one direction. And it rotates in another direction. Usually this means that everything is okay and it's well calibrated. So let's put the motor in the closed loop control. This should hold the motor. Yes, the motor holds its position. So let's do the set point 10,000. Oh, it works. Yes, set point 100,000. Set point zero. The shaft is also rotates. So let's increase the speed. So let's put velocity limit at 200,000 and set position 100,000. Nice. Set position zero. Velocity limit at 400,000. Set position uh, 100,000. Oh shit. It doesn't hold anymore. Uh, probably this speed uh, was a little bit high. So we should reset the uh, errors or I will just reboot uh, the O drive. So this is the speed limit uh, 300,000. The set point uh, 100,000. It's super, super quick. Nice. Maybe it's too fast. Let's put back uh, the speed limit at 200,000. When it's on the table, again, as the previous one, it vibrates and uh, with vibration of the table, it makes uh, this noise. But when I hold it like this, it's very silent. It's quite silent. Today we build uh, this beautiful actuator. It's very similar to the last week actuator, 
but this one is easier to build because you only need the 3d printed parts and this one needs a metal plate which should be cut it which should be drilled the hole in it and stuff like this so this one is easier to build also the interesting thing about this one that this part of this actuator could be used as a replacement for NEMA 17 stepper motor because it has the same mounting holes and the shaft diameter is 5 mm which is like a standard NEMA 17 uh, motor and all this was possible thanks to my patrons here they name and if you would like to support my channel you can also become my patreon or you can support my channel via paypal all the links in the description to this video if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe to my channel because next time we're gonna do something fun with these actuators as now i have two of them see you next time